occurring in JavaScript. So it is named after Haskell Curry, a mathematician. Let's see. So we have a sum function here and we are taking three arguments and we are returning the result. So now let's convert it to Curry approach. So in case of Curry approach, we have created a function which is taking a function as an argument. So this sum function we are uh, giving an, as an argument and we are calling the Curry function. So first what it will do is, once you call this function and it will return a function with first argument. Then it will return another function with second argument. Then it will return another function with third argument. At the end, it would call the sum method, right? So if you'll see, we are doing the same way here. We are calling the, with the first argument, whatever it returns, we are calling the second argument, whatever it returns, we are calling the third argument. As this particular thing is having access to its parent's lexical environment, which forms a closure, it can easily access the variables and calculate the result, right? So if we are going to miss any of the variables here, it, it is going to return the function, if you'll see. Right? So at, in this approach, what we can uh, do is we can even call the partial function and utilize it. That is one benefit. Another benefit is you can easily debug if something is wrong with this variable or something is wrong with this variable or this one. Right? So that is also one benefit. Right? We are calling this function with individual variable. 